People are tired of incompetent politicians where it's all talk, no action, they don't do anything. Also, I'm not controlled by special interests and lobbyists and donors. I don't need any money. I'm using my own money. There's a man out on the street. He bows his head and prays. Won't you help me, please, Lord? I need a job today. I'm so tired, I'm hungry. I need a place to sleep. How can I help my family? Across the country, thousands of hard-working Americans are losing their jobs and being replaced by foreign workers. Some corporations are misusing the H-1B visa program to replace their employees with lower-paid foreign workers. I don't think it takes anyone to really understand that our foreign policy and national security is right back at the forefront. And our commitment to our men and women in uniform and those who have served in uniform must be to make America great. I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. I serve my country, I served her with pride, and I would have gladly. Create an immigration system that serves the interest of the American people. Uh, people are hurting today. Wages are down. Jobs are down. Uh, so we've got to be concerned about them and making sure that Americans are given the opportunity to get valuable jobs first. One of the reasons we've done so well here is because we are going to stop illegal immigration. We're going to build a wall, and Mexico is going to pay for the wall. The Dream Act isn't for our children. The Dream Act is for other children that come into the country. I want the Dream Act to be for our children. Right now, and you know it, we have illegal immigrants that are treated better by far than our veterans. That's not going to happen anymore. It's not going to happen. Our vets are our greatest people. And we're going to take care of our vets because our vets are treated like third-class citizens. Every mountain, every stream. Some every American veterans in Iraq can't bear watching the country they fought to secure lost to the forces of ISIS, and incredibly, some of them are returning to Iraq as volunteer soldiers. I would get everybody together and I'd blast the hell out of them. They wouldn't be there long, believe me. The source of wealth, their primary source of wealth, is the oil. Our kids deserve to grow up. This is our time to live on the earth. Trump wants to make America first. And you got to stand with Trump and you have to trust him the way I do. So I believe that this is done. Thank you. It's like Joseph in the Bible. He had to be sold into slavery, imprisoned, betrayed, so that eventually he could save the Jews. Maybe Mitt Romney had to lose. And maybe we had to give Republicans one more chance in 2014. And maybe Mitch McConnell and John Boehner had to betray us once again to pave the way for President Donald Trump. God hasn't given up on America yet. Remember, and this is so true, the American dream is dead, but I'm gonna make it bigger and better and stronger than it ever has been before. And we are going to make America great again. I love you, I love you, thank you. You are going to be, if I'm elected president, so proud of your country again. Good night.